GE 3171 Problem Solving and Python Programming Laboratory Exercise number 12 Developing a game activity using Pygame like bouncing ball Let's see what is Pygame Pygame is a cross platform set of Python modules which is used to create video games This Pygame is a bunch of Python modules intended for composing computer games It is free highly portable and runs on nearly every platform and operating systems first let's see what are the operations we can use in python then only it will be very easy to write the program so first is import and initialize pygame it is import the pygame and sys module at the top of your python file that is very much important without that the pygame Py program will not be executed so first line wants to be import sys comma pygame this pygame dot initialize okay so it will be comes under here right the next this is used to initialize all the required module of the pygame Next is you want to set the screen size, background color, and caption. For that, we use this operation. That is a pygame dot display dot set underscore mode of function, which returns the surface object for the window, and with the height and width of the screen as arguments, and caption. To set the caption, we use pygame dot display dot set underscore caption of function. Like this way, we are going to use in this program that is width is equal to five hundred and fifty, height is equal to three hundred, and color is equal to two hundred and fifty five comma two hundred and fifty comma two fifty. The next uh, screen is equal to pygame dot display dot set underscore mode of width and height is given. This is used to display the window of a desired size. That is important. Next. Uh, pygame dot display dot set underscore caption of uh, caption is pygame bouncing ball. Next, load the moving object uh, and set the rectangle area covering the image. It is first uh, we want to open the image. That is uh, using pygame dot image dot load of method is used, and set the ball rectangle area boundary using Get underscore rect of method. Like this way, we can use it. That is, ball is equal to pygame dot image dot load of the image name is ball. The extension is dot png. This image wants to be stored inside the Python. Then only it will be executed. Rect underscore boundary is equal to ball dot get underscore rect of. Let's see how to store this image inside the Python. First, download that image from the internet and open c colon python python three point ten the ball. This is a image uh, I have stored uh, inside the python. I will show it. This is a ball. It will be bouncing like that. Only you are going to execute in this pygame program. For bouncing the ball, we want to give the speed. Set the speed. For that, we use this move off method. So move off forward, comma right. Right side it will move, and speed is equal to one comma one. You can change the speed level. And next, rect underscore boundary is equal to rect underscore boundary dot move off. Based on the speed, it will be moved. That ball will be moved. And next, make ball movement continuity. For that, we use this looping function. While one. This a rect underscore boundary equal to rect underscore boundary dot move off speed. If the rect underscore boundary is left is less than zero, speed we have given one comma one. If it is less than zero or rect underscore boundary dot right is greater than the width, then what will happen? The speed of zero is equal to minus speed of zero. It is taken like this way. And next up. If it is uh, less than and the bottom 
boundary dot bottom is greater than the height then the speed of 1 is equal to minus speed of 1 while executing you can see that and next fill the background color and blend the screen for that we use this fill off method and blend off method screen dot fill off color and screen dot blend off ball comma rect underscore boundary next make image visible the pygame flip off method is used to make all the images visible so pygame dot display dot flip off i hope you all understood all the methods which we can use in the pygame let's see this lab exercise exercise number 12 developing a game activity using pygame like bouncing ball a to write a python program for developing a game activity using pygame like bouncing ball algorithm step 1 input and initialize the pygame library step 2 set screen size background color and caption step 3 set speed of the moving object step 4 make ball movement continuity step 5 fill the background and blend the screen step 6 flip the display step 7 quiet pie game this is the program first we import the os operating system is imported in the environment of pyga underscore hide underscore support underscore prompt and next uh, import sys and pygame from the pygame dot locals import next uh, pygame dot initialize next speed is equal to 2 comma 2 color is given it is 255 comma 250 comma 250 based on that all the operation only we are writing this program next uh, width is equal to 550 and height is equal to 300 screen is equal to pygame dot display dot set underscore mode it is a width and height is given this is used to display a window of the desired size next caption is pygame bouncing ball here you can see that caption it is a pygame bouncing ball next uh, ball that image we have taken that is a ball dot png next uh, rect underscore boundary is equal to ball dot get underscore rect off then while loop is uh, given based on the speed it will be moved right side left side up and move like that the next uh, screen dot fill off color screen dot blit off ball comma rect underscore boundary then pygame dot display of flip this is the output the ball will be bounced let's see the execution part in python go to start type ideally enter ideally shell is opened in the description box i have given the link how to install pygame you can refer that after you install the pygame you want to check it whether it is installed properly or not then only you can execute all the pygame programs so first open ideally shell then type import pygame enter the pygame version is 2.1.2 .2. hello from the pygame community you want to get this message then only you want you can know that is pygame is installed properly okay so next open file new file new file is opened now you can start typing the program import pygame after you typed all the programs program fully then you can save the file save i have given ball1 save file is saved in the name of ball1.py then click same program okay then click run run module the ball is bouncing you can see here right sir so i hope you all understood what is pygame and how we can 
execute the pie game programs it is very interesting right the ball is bouncing very well so like this way you can create uh, video games uh, or any movements uh, by using this python you can try this program result that's the python program for developing a game activity using pie game like bouncing ball was written and executed successfully thank you